Uh, we are extremely pleased uh, that the court decided to follow the law, follow the sentencing guidelines, and, it, and administer a federal sentence of life uh, at, in, in addition to her decision, which, we, again, we believe is consistent with the law uh, to, keep the, to keep Travis McMichael in state custody uh, primarily ahead of the uh, where he'll serve out his life sentence without the possibility of parole. I wanted them to, to, to know the pain that we as the family goes through every day. And for Travis to make a, a suggestion that he wanted to do his, his time in federal prison. Whether he goes into federal or state prison, it wasn't going to bring a mod home. And that's the pain that we live with each and every day. I'm, I'm very proud to say that we finally got justice for Ahmad on a federal level. I, I am pleased that they will do their time in, in the state penitentiary, and that's what I had been screaming the whole time. Um, I mentioned, I said in court that Ahmad was only shot one time, he was shot three times. And I tell you, I feel every shot, every day that I wake up. I pray for this day to actually get a chance to talk to Travis directly. I wanted to, I was more anxious to see was he going to address the, the parents of Ahmad and also to the family of Ahmad. And Travis chose not to even say that he was sorry. So it really showed the court, it showed the family, it showed the, everybody who's been saying just for Ahmad what kind of people really took my son away. I just want to give all glory to God that justice has been pouring out at the mountain hard for Ahmad because it's been a long journey for my family. The tragic way that he died. And then it was real rough for me and my family to face these three murderers. It was hard to look at them every day as a father. And they show no morals for how they took his life. That's the thing that really bothered me real bad. And then they act for mercy. They didn't give him no mercy that day. That February the 23rd, that sunny hot day that day, they didn't need not give him no mercy. They didn't need to give him a chance to finish his run. And you asking for mercy? And you asking the, for the court to send you somewhere where you can be laid back? When we ain't gonna see Ahmad no more? You ain't give him no chance to be laid back. Cause if you would, you would let him run out that day. So we don't want no mercy for those Michael. They ain't give us none. They ain't give him none either. No. None at all. No. None. No. None. Tell you. See anything in that man when you look at him today? All I seen was racial hate. That's it. That's all I seen. Racial hate. And, I, and I'm just so thanking God that God opened up the can of worms and let the world to see how yes. what we live around. Yes. What we live around. People better get right. together and see what you live around. Know your neighbors. Know who you living next to. I'm oh telling you, don't be blind to the fact that you don't know who you living next to. Amen. You can be living to a racial hateful monster that will kill you. Amen. Know the facts. Know what's going on around you. I knew, I knew that is emerging. What happened to those who killed Brown Taylor in Kentucky? What's happening now today, life plus 10 years? The New South is emerging. I remember when. Um, the governor in the state ran with the uh, axe handle as a symbol. He killed like he was in his restaurant. You have the safe savings running as, as governor. For enlightened moment, human, humane, kills all people. You had Talmadge as a senator from the state. There have been segregation. You have a doctor, uh, uh, more not running for senator. So as the New South emerging, I remember when uh, uh, the uh, uh, Hull and Gulf was in the University of Georgia and had the very federal troops. Now there's recruiting blacks. So New South emerging. I want to thank God for this day. I make a statement we must not deny. Also, the impact of our vote is making a big difference in the world today. So from this state came uh, Jim Carter, maybe the most decent president of America has ever known. Uh, I see the breakthrough of, 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 of a new day. And, and, and all white jury. And they, they found him guilty. An all white jury. That, that's the new day in Georgia. That's right. You must also understand that, there's, there's, that all people are not that way in the South. Mm -hmm. In Georgia.
think about uh, those 12 jurors all white, my, my heart was heavy for a moment. I sensed in them a spirit of, 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 of justice, and they really them guilty, all 12 of them. So that, that's a new statement. We must appreciate that breakthrough in the South.